Hey guys, I'm back with another video on Demi Lovato's Path to Fame. So, uh, let's get started. Let's play the play button. Hello, and let's play. And they are sponsors again, so you might as well skip this video, guys. So I'm not going to talk because it's really loud. I f remember from the last video, it was really loud. So I'm not really going to say anything until the ads end. Okay, carry on. <laughs> How would you style her? How would you choose her look? Choose from beautiful hair and makeup styles. Style with real fashion brands. What an improvement. Beautiful. Are you ready for more? Tap to download Covet Fashion today. get on to the video well I have headphones but I don't want to put them on right now because I don't feel like it tour day two all these faces hmm maybe we'll meet somebody new let's find out Ooh, we're in the city Morning everyone, we're here, breakfast in the hotel in 10. It paused? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's last scene I saw like real sex. That was that was cool. I guess everybody is And I'm outside in my pajamas. You doing okay, Julia? I'm excited for Chicago. That was a long night. I'm a little homesick. If I say homesick, then she'll probably, like, she may um, suggest that I can go home and they want to, like, I don't know. I'm just going to, because I am excited for Chicago, because I am excited who I'm going to meet, and yeah. So, Chicago. I am, now that we're here. I've been looking forward to unpacking and exploring Chicago. I can't wait to get up to my room. Your room? Didn't anyone tell you? Tell me what? Only bus A and B riders stay in the hotel. What? Aw, oh, that's so duh. Ugh, now I have to stay in that stupid little thing. The small box space. What? Everyone in C and D bunks on the buses. Aw, Julia, I'll smuggle out any bath products I don't use in my bubble bath. But I want a bubble bath. One day, Julia, one day. Oh, everybody listen up. Roadies and crew, you know the routine. Set up and sound check. Yes. Hair, makeup, wardrobe, we got a meeting tomorrow at 8 a.m. Yay! <laughs> Everyone else, get some food and use this time for some needed R&R. &R. My stomach turned. <laughs> We've got a sold-out show tomorrow night. Then we hit the road at 11 p.m. sharp. Be there. I'll never lose someone to oil spotting on one of my tours. Oil spotting? Don't be the first. What is that? Hmm. What the heck is oil spot? Sp Spotting. That's what I was thinking, too. Okay, why am I outside in my pajamas? Like, why? Why, Julia? Why would you go outside in your pajamas? <sighs> Anyone? 
Nope, they're all gone. Sorry. Ooh, my phone. Thank you. Thank God you called. Do you know what oil spotting is? Totally. It's when you check how many calories your food has by laying it on a napkin. I'm pretty sure that's not what Holly meant. Well, I tried. Looks like you're having a good time. Given that your Maria Rise interview got 2,000 fans since yesterday. 2,000 fans? We practically got that prize money in the bag. Wait, what prize money? Oh my god, I haven't told you. Glamlips will give us $100,000 if we can get 100,000 fans. Okay, okay. We'll be fine. This will be easy. It's like when we push in to get M Fandas in the College Jenny Hall. Only like 8,000 times harder. Ha ha ha. So I'm just giving me suggestions. But so far, it's just been suggestions for ads. I totally need your advice. This is your area of expertise. Stalk Alex Fox and post everything he does to our channel. Is this for you or for our fans? Is there a difference? We need a video with serious star power if we want those numbers. Got it. More fans, more money. <laughs> you know what they say about more money. Oh, hey, Demi. Hey, Julia. Sounds like Sanja's already on you about your channel. Tell me about it. Numbers aren't everything, Julia. Easy for you to say. Don't get me wrong. The numbers are nice, but it's the relationships that count. True. Thanks. It's easy to forget with Sanja on my case. Anytime. Now get some breakfast before the crew goes back for thirds. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, what's for breakfast? I'm getting hungry now. Oh, come on. Now I see food. I'm still in my pajamas. Okay, I am putting on some clothes. I am not staying in my pajamas. Yeah, I'm going... I'm just... I'm going to put on, like, a regular... No, I'm not going to... I'm going to put on something... Uh, boutique? Yeah, there we go. I'll just put on something regular because I'm not going to wear something today. We're not doing a lot. Ooh, that's nice. Um, mm, ooh, that's nice. I think I'll wear that. Okay, and back to my story because I am not going to breakfast in my pajamas. Great. Coconut shrimp for breakfast again. Taylor, I didn't hear you coming. I was distracted by all the food. Anywhere I can eat waffles, vaginas, coconut shrimp at once is okay by me. Spoken like a true freshman. This all looks great now, but trust me, after a couple weeks, it tastes like generic banquet hall wedding food. My parents are cat eaters. I grew up on generic banquet hall wedding food. What? What am I saying? You know, Taylor and I are hosting a jam session tonight on good old D-Bus. I want him to sound like that. <laughs> I don't know why. He just looks the part, so. Wanna swing by? You should really come. I think you really get along with our crew. I do want to get to know more of the people on tour. This jam session could be the perfect thing to put yourself to sleep. Ha ha ha. Expire of boredom? Hey, that's kind of rude. There's only one place for you to be tonight. Where is that? My room. Oh, God. Uh, do I have to make a choice now? We're throwing a raging hotel party. In each city, my PR company rents a huge suit. We'll invite a bunch of fans to come and kick it. You should totally come, Julia. It's basically epic. Hope to see you there, songbird. Ugh. Youth is totally wasted on the young. You, Your call. I could get a great video if I go to Alex's hotel party. But Demi did stress the importance of making friends on tour. Ugh, what am I going to do now? Um, well, Taylor, he's not, he doesn't really look like my type of what, who I'm going to date in the future. I don't know. But um, I think I'll... Um, um, I think I'll do the bus hotel party. I better go change before this party. Okay, I'm about to hang out with a bunch of hit fans and rock stars. Oh, come on! I'll just wear this one. Ooh, that's nice. I'll wear that one. 
Hopefully this goes well. And everybody's laughing. Everybody's having a good time. Yeah, yeah. Julia, I was wondering when the little songbird would fly in. I thought your PR team invited hundreds. Hey, the night is young. But I don't need a single soul more than now that you're here. Aww. Now I feel bad. Come on, let's get you a drink. Hmm. You look like a bourbon kind of girl. Um, more like no water. Um, I don't want to get drunk. Water is just like plain. I'll have a vodka martini, martini, whatever that is. I'll have a vodka martini. And a spring of rosemary, and you got my favorite drink. Rosemary? Really? I would have never thought of that. There's a lot more that I can teach you. I'm looking forward to it. Hmm. <laughs> I guess I am recording. This is so beautiful. I was just thinking the same thing. Hmm. Shouldn't you be hanging out with your friends? I see these fans at every party. I'm with you right now. Hmm. Whoops. Sorry, Alex. They keep throwing the beach ball over here. Who's your friend? Tiff, this Julia. Julia, Tiffany. Julia, huh? Good to know. That girl in the odd outfit was too much of a mouthful. Aw, that's kind of rude. Nice to finally have a real name to go by. Alex, we're playing volleyball in the jacuzzi. Is that an invitation? My sister's calling. You answer. We'll play around. I'll answer the phone because last time I didn't. And if I don't answer the phone, she's like, the next time I answer the phone, she's going to be like, why haven't you answered the call? And so I'm going to answer. Hello? Julia, are you in Chicago yet? We pulled in this morning. Look, Callie, if it's not important, <coughs> could he pick me up a Honey Bears jersey while you're there? You know, just if you have time. Um, I'll find you one. I'm sorry. I won't have time. Yeah, I'm not really going to have time, so... Callie, hey, I, w I didn't want to get mad at her. Ugh, I don't want to get mad at my sissy. Callie, how could I possibly have time for that? Tour life is so busy. All my friends are so jealous of you. I'll just say I wish you were here, because the last choice is kind of rude. I wish you were here. I'm hanging out with Alex Fox right now. Alex Fox? The Alex Fox? Picture or it didn't happen. <laughs> Check your phone in two minutes. Jessica's going to freak when she sees this. I'll talk to you later. <sighs> I totally beat you. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> What's your sister say? Oh, she just wants me to pick up some jersey for her. Good luck finding time to do that. <laughs> I'll see you later, Alex. Mwah. Wow, she's on that. I mean, wow, she's, I'll say cute. I'll just say forward. She's really forward. I know, a lot of people who know what they want. I've never been to a place where you can play volleyball in a jacuzzi. Really? There's a small water slide in here, too. Oh, I sort of have a deathly fear of water slides. I actually have a fear of water slides, too. That's really weird because... I hate the tube ones. Like, last time, I was, like, seven. This is a small little um, story time video. And I went to Lake Compounds. I don't know where you guys think that is, but it was a long way away. But, um, I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's a water park. And I went there, and it was, like, I don't know, maybe two hours from my house. And, um, yeah, so we went. And I went down the water slide. And then I bumped my head and I've got a got a big bruise on my head, and I had to I had to um, be in the hotel room for like 24 hours, and I couldn't play in the water park for two days, and we were there for a week, and it happened the the fourth day. So the last day I was there, we we um, were planning to go to the zoo, so I didn't even get to really play at the water park. I just got to see um, dirty animals. <laughs> um, so yeah, okay. Ghosts, spiders, clowns, water slides. Yes, I see how that fits into the mix. <laughs> Don't make fun. I had a near-death experience with one when I was a kid. Well, not near-death for me, but kind of scary one. Julia, I'm not leaving this hotel room until you go on that water slide with me. 